Well, hi guys, it's Inamuka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to take a look at moving data, specifically game data, to your micro SD card because more and more games these days take up over a gigabyte of storage on your handset. Specifically, when you buy a 16 gigabyte smartphone, you already don't have a lot of storage to play around with. Before going any further, I just want to point out that you will need root access in order to go through this process. So if you don't already have root access, check out the link down in the description there of another video of how to obtain root access. So just before going any further, I just want to show you what the storage capacities of this 16 gigabyte S4 are showing here so you can see the phone's internal storage at the top there is 8.59 gigabytes out of a total 9.25 gig so i'm nearly out of storage but the micro sd card in the back of the phone is showing 7.91 gig out of a total 29.71 gig so plenty of storage on the micro sd card not so much on the phone's internal storage but once you've got root access go to your play store and download an application called folder mount as you can see at the top of the list there it does say root in brackets it's totally free it doesn't cost you a single penny so it's tap into it and install it. I've already got it installed so I'm going to hit open and as you can see there it's prompting for root access. So as I said before if you don't already have root access check out the link in the description there. Obtain root access then come back to this video but I'm just going to hit grant there so it loads up the application. Now I do like this application due to its simplicity. Once you're at the main menu here I'd suggest you go to menu settings and just make sure there's a tick next to where it says run on boot to automatically mount all folder pairs on boot and once you've done that go back one into the main menu again here Now, what it means by pairs is it essentially moves your data from your phone's internal storage and pairs it to the location on your micro SD card so as far as the phone is concerned it still thinks it's on the phone's internal storage when in fact it's been paired with the location on the micro SD card so what we're going to do swipe in from the left hand side go to app analyzer this is by far the easiest method to move the games to your micro SD card. As you can see here, it's displayed a list of all my applications in order of storage space that they're taken up on the phone. So number one spot goes to Need for Speed Most Wanted and it's taken up 1.9 gigabytes. If I scroll right the way down to the bottom, you can see number 46 on there is tv24.co.uk. It's almost taken up nothing at all. So say if I want to move across Need for Speed Most Wanted, tap into that. I'm going to hit Create Pair. And then it brings up a message saying, would you like me to create the destination folder automatically? You can choose a custom destination path by clicking no. So what it's essentially saying is, do you want me to create the folder on the micro SD card or do you want to create it yourself or put it in a specific folder yourself? I'm going to let it do all the legwork, so say yes to that. And it pre-populates the source destination, so where the game data is now and what the destination path is there where it's going to move it to on the external micro SD card and just for good measure I'm going to put this tick in here where it says exclude from media scan so it doesn't appear in any of the thumbnails in the gallery or anything like that so once I'm done I'm going to hit the tick and it displays another message saying your source directory is not empty would you like me to move the files to the destination and possibly overwrite the destination files so what it's saying is at the moment the source location where the files are sitting on the phone storage is empty which is right because we haven't moved anything across yet and it's saying do you want me to move the files across yes we do but it's also saying if there's already files where it's going to move them to it will overwrite them which is fine so i'm going to hit yes and away it goes. If I just bring the status bar down, it says moving files. Now, depending on how large the files are, this may take a little bit of time. So that took approximately eight minutes to move 1.9 gigabytes of Need for Speed Most Wanted data from the phone's internal storage to the micro SD card in the back of the phone. So we're just gonna go back there, go back to the Apps Analyzer, and notice Need for Speed Most Wanted is no longer there. So just to show you, I'm gonna come out of this Go back into the phone's storage here and look at that. The phone's internal storage was showing as 8.58 gigabytes, but it's now gone to 6.65 gigabytes out of a total 9.25 gig. So it's freed up space on the phone's internal storage, which is excellent. And if you have a look at the micro SD card storage, it was 7.91 gigabytes, but it's now 9.90 gigabytes. So it's gone up because it's moved the data from the phone's internal storage to the micro SD card, which makes sense. So if we go back into the application, I just want to show you something. So here we go, we'll load that back up and we'll just swipe in from the left hand side here. We want to have a look at the list of pairs that is created and moved across. And as you can see, it's paired up and need for speed most wanted from the phone's internal storage to the micro SD card. But you'll notice a pin towards the right hand side of that need for speed most wanted data. Pin needs to be green in order for you to play the game as it was on the phone's internal storage. If we were to play that game now, it'll ask us to download data 
as it did when we first started it up. So I'm just going to show you what it does. So once that loads, it will say you want to download extra content. There we go. It says it. Need for Speed Most Wanted requires approximately 590 megabytes. Because we've moved the data from the phone's internal storage to the micro SD card, it can't see it anymore because we didn't pin it. So we'll just go back into, we'll clear Need for Speed Most Wanted and we'll go back into folder mode here. What we're going to do is put a pin, press it so it goes green, and it'll say please wait as you can see there. And notice it now goes green. If you've got more than one application there, you can just hit these pins towards the bottom. So if I tap that, it'll go white again. After it's paired it up, there you go, it's gone white. And if I hit this side, it'll do the same. Obviously, if you've got more than one application there, it'll do them all at the same time. While we're here, I'll just mention that the free version of this application only allows you to move across three amounts of application data to your micro SD card. So if you want to move across more than three applications to your micro SD card, I suggest you go to Menu and Purchase Pro. And I think the Pro version only costs a £1.20 here in the UK. And that's by far the easiest method in which you can move application data by using the Apps Analyzer to your micro SD card. If you want to move across specific applications, what you can do is go back into the menu, go to list of pairs, hit the plus button and then call it a specific name from there, whatever you want to move across. Hit the source button, select the application data you want to move across from your phone's internal storage via this browser and then obviously select the destination from there as well on your external SD card and then just hit the tick button as we saw earlier and as easy as that. Depending on how much data you want to move across it may take a little bit of time on the Need for Speed Most Wanted demo that we've just done, it took about eight minutes there, so not too long though. And finally, just to show you that Need for Speed Most Wanted is actually working once you've got a green pin set next to it there. Incidentally, once you've moved the application data across, if you run into any problems, it may be worth restarting your smartphone and then making sure under menu settings, you've got a tick next to where it says run on boot. But once you've done that and you've got a green pin there, you're good to go. So load up the application as normal from the application drawer. So here we go need for speed most wanted and this time it shouldn't prompt us to download the extended content because it's referencing the same content but from the micro SD card where we moved it to and already look it's already gone further than where it did previously so we let us do this thing you can see the circular status symbol whizzing around there and once it loads it should display the map with what I have and haven't completed so far so it shouldn't take too long at all that's whizzing round and here we go, there we go, it's loaded the map and you can see there Reynolds Lane, I haven't done anything with there, 0% completed Downtown, McLean and Peterson Street, 100% completed so that's how easily you can move across application data to your micro SD card and just to show you, I'll just come out of this if you ever want to, for whatever reason, move the data back to your phone's internal storage just go back into the application, unpin the data that you moved across from here and let's do this thing. Once that's done, hold down on the application and select the trash can to delete. It gives you a message saying, are you sure? Yes, we're sure. And it says, do you want me to move the files of Need for Speed Most Wanted back to the source from the destination? Yes, so it's going to move them back from the micro SD card to the phone's internal storage. So we'll say yes. And if we bring the status bar back down again, it's moving the files across. That didn't take us long to move the data back from the micro SD card. It took about four or five minutes there. So if we now go back into the application, do Apps Analyzer, it should display Need for Speed Most Wanted back at number one spot there again. And that's how easily you can move application data to your micro SD card using the folder mount application free from the Android Play Store. But your handset does require root access. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.